Hey everybody, I'm standing in my kitchen to talk about my least favorite thing to do. That's right, cooking. I do have some tips and strategies to make the whole thing a little bit less awful and a free gift just for you. Are you ready to do this? Well, let's go. So this is the menu that we're gonna prepare for this week. But here's the thing. The method I'm about to show you is totally customizable. Mostly we're cooking the chicken and then mixing it with, it with other ingredients to prepare each of these dishes. So if your family aren't fans of either of these, you can sub in any recipe that calls for cooked chicken and serve it with whatever veggies and sides you have on hand. It's super simple. Come meet our assembled cast of characters. The crock pot. Freezer bags, bakeware, my cooking pot, also a colander, and I hope you like working with chicken, enough to feed your family for five meals. So this whole process can be done in about two hours, two hours and five minutes on the outside. I usually start Sunday, but you can start whatever day works for you. Here we go. Sunday morning, you're gonna get up. You're gonna take your chicken, you're gonna divide it into five portions. You're gonna put two portions in your trusty handy dandy crock pot. You're gonna freeze two portions with your freezer bags. And you're gonna take one portion and throw it back in the fridge because you're gonna be cooking it later that day. If you wanna save even more time, instead of freezing that chicken, save it and bake it on Sunday night in the oven when you're cooking your dinner. Stay tuned and I'll tell you what to do with it when it comes out of the oven. About six hours later, when the crock pot chicken is finished cooking, you're gonna come back, you're gonna take the chicken out of the fridge, throw it in a baking dish with potatoes, carrots, onions, garlic, lots of garlic, always lots of garlic, whatever you want, and bake it in the oven. You're gonna serve it on Sunday night for dinner with gravy, rolls, however your family likes to eat it. While the chicken is cooking in the oven, get that chicken out of your crock pot and shred it. Put it into two equal portions. The first portion, usually I make some sort of chicken salad or Mediterranean chicken salad, buffalo chicken salad, whatever you want. And now dinner for Monday night is done. I take the second portion, toss it with some taco seasoning, and I'm all ready for Taco Tuesday before Sunday night's dinner is even ready to come out of the oven. Tuesday night, after you finish enjoying your tacos, take that chicken out of the freezer and stick it in the fridge for Wednesday. Wednesday night, you're gonna cook up your pasta and then both portions of chicken are gonna go on a foil lined for easy cleanup cookie sheet and get baked in the oven until they're done. When the chicken comes out of the oven, divide it into two portions. The first portion is gonna get mixed with sauce and mozzarella, whatever, to get served with the pasta. I also like mushrooms with my chicken, but not everyone does. Then you're gonna take the second portion and you're gonna mix it with like garlic parm wing sauce or barbecue sauce or whatever your family enjoys and stick it back in the fridge for Thursday night's dinner. Friday night for dinner, you're either gonna cycle through the leftovers or pick up the phone and order a pizza. And you're done. It only took about two hours and six meals were prepared and served to your family. Pretty awesome, huh? Oops. I forgot to mention how to get your hands on this week's freebie. So here's a picture of my puppy to make up for it. Click on the link in the description below and grab a meal planning worksheet that will allow you to plan out your family's meals for the week. There's even space to write out your shopping list. Just a little gift to make your meal planning a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. Please like and leave a comment below with your favorite meal hack. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss next week's episode. See you then.